Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 14th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and this reading may or may not be for you. Just take, take what resonates and leave the rest. So before I get started, I'm going to let you know that I might have some wood stain below my fingernails because I've been staining today. And, that, and that's one of the reasons why I haven't put on fingernails because I've moved into my new room. So if you hear an echo, I have high ceilings and I got wood floor. <laughs> so I am going to go buy some rugs that I wanted, area rugs, you know. But the stores you wouldn't let you in, you know. So but our lift is off. So I will be picking up some rugs momentarily <laughs> in the next couple of days that will get rid of the echo. So please bear with me. So anyway, what do we have for the upcoming message today for around the 14th of May? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. When the room is all set up, you're going to get a view over on Empress TV, of course. So the room is about, well, halfway. I'm going to let you guys see my room. So anyway, um, that'll be on Empress TV. What do we have for a message today? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. Ace of Swords reversed, Ten of Cups reversed, and the Hierophant. Now, what's interesting is I already did one reading. I did a reading a couple of hours ago. But the echo was so big, and it, it, the lighting wasn't correct, and I didn't, you know, I wasn't completely ready. But now I am. But we had the Hierophant. Um, so there's definitely a higher power involved. You need to believe, you need to trust, you need to have faith. Now, this is climbing the ladder, seeing the light, very enlightened. So we have a teacher here or a channeler, somebody that is very spiritual. Uh, um, now, this could be a mentor or somebody that is very wise. Okay? So we have an uh, individual here who... Uh, may have some good advice for you, but you might have to listen to the advice. And in my last reading, somebody didn't listen. But anyhow, the Ace of Swords reversed. That is a lack of honesty, a lack of truth, losing your power. So somebody is losing their power. They may not be wanting to be honest with themselves. It's not awakened. This is extremely awakened versus completely not awakened. So, uh, unclear, no communication, um, relationship problems. So there's relationship problems because somebody is not communicating or they're confused or they're feeling powerless or they don't want to be honest with themselves. So there's a, there's a lack of communication and there's a lack of clarity and there's a lack of knowing. This person is confused. So we have somebody here that is confused. They're not an awakened individual. And you got to see what's mirroring it is the Hierophant. This is a very spiritually awakened individual. So there could be some opposition here. The Ten of Cups reversed is a people, two people that are not on the same page. Okay? So we have a relationship that is not on the same page. We have one awakened person and one that is not. So, that can certainly cause conflict. With the Ten of Cups reversed, you know, um, I feel as though there's a lack of harmony. There's a lack of peace. There's uh, relationship problems, okay? There is definitely some relationship problems. Um, hmm. The High Priestess reversed. Now, the High Priestess reversed is a lack of awareness. Again, right here, lack of awareness. We have one individual here that is completely closed off, doesn't listen to their gut, doesn't follow their intuition, is completely 
you know, for a lot of you that know this in the 3D, three dimensional, this person is not spiritual by any means at all, is living in the material world, right? In the, you know, is under a lot of social pressure and doesn't see things in a spiritual manner. Okay, so that's, that's what we got over here. Uh, they may, probably are keeping secrets. They're not very communicate. They can't communicate well. You could be dealing with somebody that um, ignores their intuition, ignores their self. This person may choose to be single, doesn't um, want to be in a relationship, doesn't want to be in a commitment, not very receptive. You know, maybe very shallow. So, you know, there's a, there's somebody here that doesn't appear to want to be in a relationship or doesn't know the value of a relationship. Let's, let's get to know this person. Who is this person? What, tell me some more. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Doesn't want to give up their independence. Uh, lacks self-worth. Lacks self-esteem isn't um, enjoying the finer things in life, may not be very grateful. The Nine of Pentacles reverse. This person um, <laughs> definitely may choose to be single because they really don't want to deal with any kind of commitment. Could be fearful of commitment. Single, single, relationship, commitment. So we got somebody here that is having a hard time. They can't see clearly or they, they aren't communicating because perhaps they're choosing to be single. They don't want to give up their independence or they feel like they don't have enough to offer. You know, the Nine of Pentacles reverse. I don't have enough. Very insecure, you know. Very insecure, the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, this is somebody that is struggling, probably struggling financially. And maybe that's why they don't want to be involved in a relationship. Maybe they don't want the person that they're with to know that they're financially unstable. Maybe they're hiding that because it's secrets here. They're hiding the fact that they're struggling financi financially. So the best thing to do is retreat, you know, not communicate and hide their feelings, okay? So we have somebody who is not really open to a relationship or getting in any kind of commitment because their self-esteem and their abundance is uh, low, okay? They're not uh, enjoying where they're at financially. They're not grateful for what they have. They're not awakened in any way. So, you know, an awakened individual understands that material things are not needed, okay? To bring you abundance. An awakened person understands that. An unawakened individual does not. So the Hierophant is the highest authority. This is somebody who is highly awakened. Highly spiritual. Has a direct connection with a higher power or God or whoever. This person may teach spirituality. May... Um, could be somebody that preaches, um, could be a spiritual teacher, whoever this person is, they are very, they're very happy and enlightened. So that we have two very different individuals here. Ooh, hoo, hoo. interesting. So the Hierophant and the devil, those are completely opposite. Isn't that the truth? Because that is exactly what we have here. So somebody is being tempted. This is temptation. This is lust. This is greed. This is materialism. Sabotaging an opportunity for happiness because of social pressure and materialism. This is self-sabotage. We could have an individual here that has a lot of addictions. They can't um, break free from them addictions. Hmm. Knight of Swords reverse. This is addictions and this is out of control. The Knight of Swords reverse. This is negative, out of control, clueless, ignorant, dangerous, dangerous. There could be a, there, you know, the higher, it looks like, I mean, this, this guy on the Hierophant card is, 
very enlightened and he's smiling. It's almost like he's laughing. And I don't think God would be laughing. But this is like, ha ha, you know. But the devil, that is a bad habit, an unhealthy situation that is getting out of control. That is out of control. So we have a, we could have an addiction that is getting out of control or an individual that has a, a very much very selfish this is very selfish energy very selfish very self-centered very conceited very egotistical is somebody's getting out of control this is dangerous now there could be some mental health issues there could be somebody that is being led into danger from somebody that is you know listening to you know you got that angel on one side and the devil on the other they're listening to that little voice on the other side, right? And that's telling them to do something dangerous when, you know, there's an opportunity. You get to choose, okay? You get to choose. You can listen to the higher power that has good intentions or you can listen to the devil that doesn't. Okay? But, the, but this is out of control. This is an insincere. It is. It's very insincere. It's a very selfish energy and it's dangerous. It's very dangerous. We could have an addiction that gets somebody in trouble, causes an accident. Okay? Somebody could be being led into a dangerous situation by uh, a very toxic individual who, you know, it looks real good, it feels real good, but it's not. Three unprepared unprepared seriously we got somebody here that's not prepared they're not prepared for what is about to happen they are completely not prepared you know it, it feels real good it looks real good but it's false the devil is ruled by the shadow what you see is not what you get so somebody is being led into a situation they are being led into a situation that uh, they're not seeing clearly this is a lack of foresight it is it, it is very alluring. It is very attractive. But, you know, if I was you, I would look a little bit deeper. Ooh, two of cups. We're talking about a partnership here. Partnership union. This is unprepared for a partnership. Unprepared -re for a union of some sort. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, could be dealing with a Taurus, could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is not wanting a relationship over here. I'd rather be single, not communicating, feeling powerless, have chosen to be single. But this is about commitment and marriage. This is a deep attraction a, a deep bond it is so we have a bond between two people interesting interesting emperor reversed okay okay the emperor reversed that's somebody that is very egotistical doesn't want responsibility, not interested in helping a, somebody that is corrupt, that engages in criminal activity for their own good. Okay? Could be selling drugs. I don't know what it is. This is somebody that is getting, that is um, only out for number one, only cares about number one. Very controlling, very entitled. Maybe on the wrong side of the law deserts you in the time of need, leads other people into danger, feels good, looks good, but is not what it seems. This person seems to be like an alpha, okay? This is like an alpha male. I mean, it's like, it's like the sex would be through the roof, okay? It would. I'm just being honest with you, okay? It would. This would feel like it was the perfect match. It was the perfect, perfect, perfect match, but you're not seeing something clearly. This person is dangerous. They may have some mental health issues. I'm not trying to scare anybody. The Knight of Swords in reverse is somebody that has mental health issues that is clueless. Now, 
you know, you may be the one that does. Maybe you're clueless because it feels so good and it looks so good. Somebody is. This is clueless energy. We could have somebody here that is looking for a fight. I feel like we have a know-it-all. This is, we do. We have a know-it-all and this could lead to a dangerous situation. It feels like it's perfect. But it's not. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is some this is not prepared. The three the three of wands reversed. Completely not prepared. We have a relationship that is not on the same page. Ace of Cups reversed. Ace of Cups reversed. That's not love. That's emotional shutdown, a rejection. Loss of emotional content, an emotional blockage, shutting down emotions, not expressing their feelings. And they're not, this person is not expressing their feelings. And I feel like this person is laughing. Could be dealing with a Taurus because I just keep on looking at this. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Taurus, Capricorn, Aries. Um, this is an alpha male, okay? And that's what I feel like it is. I feel like it's an alpha male. Could be a female, though, because you have a couple females over here. Anyhow, it could be a male or a female. But this is somebody that is very, very controlling, likes to be in control, likes to be dominant, very dominant, very, very, very dominant. And has a high, uh, uh, what's the word? For Libido. Sexual energy, okay? So I feel like this person is not looking for love. They're not looking for commitment. They're looking for control. They are totally looking for control. And it seems perfect. It really, really does. But you look at what's mirroring. It all is not as it seems. And we have an individual that is totally not seeing it. Totally unaware. Seriously totally unaware that that is not love to be controlled and dominated by another person that really doesn't want a commitment but wants to get laid two of wands needing to make a choice the moment of decision there could be a choice between two people here we could have a third party situation where, because we have two and two and then we have the three. So I'm wondering if we have a choice between two. Now this is the moment of decision. Do you want to keep hanging on or do you want to move forward? I think there's some sort of, uh, well, obviously we have somebody here that is thinking, they're thinking about their future thinking about love, thinking about um, their soulmate. Who is my soulmate? Wanting a soulmate, desiring a soulmate, desiring that perfect match, but unaware that they're dealing with somebody that is very selfish and corrupt. You know, you may have to choose another avenue. Don't get caught up with somebody that feels good that but doesn't reciprocate in the love arena. Don't don't mistake lust for love. This is a moment of decision. So we do have somebody here that has not been able to open up. Two, 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 two. Two is about taking the next step, having faith and trust. It's about a soulmate. It's about balance. It's about making a choice. So somebody's needing to make a choice and I think they need to make a choice between two people. It's like one person they don't love, but they may be with them because of the sexual connection. Anyhow, the two of pentacles reversed is a poor decision, lacking balance. Somebody has bitten off more than they can chew. And now they have to make a choice between two. There's a higher power, God, that is whispering in one ear and the devil that is whispering in the other. No joke. 
What does your heart want? Do you want to be single and continue to never be in a relationship and never be loved? Or do you want to be loved? Two of Pentacles reversed versus the Two of Wands. Oh, God. We have somebody here that is struggling to let go. Struggling to let go of somebody that they have been hanging on to. And because they can't let go of this person that they have been hanging on to, they are missing an opportunity for big love. Oh my God. So what do we have for the 14th? Queen of Wands reversed the other woman. The other woman or the other person is angry, upset. Um, the other woman may be being dropped, being dropped. There's no desire. This person is maybe forceful. I mean, the Queen of Wands in reverse is somebody that is controlling, jealous, revengeful, unhealthy, melodramatic, gossips, lies, needs constant attention. And, it, and it, with this Four of Cups, it feels like this is, I don't want it. I don't want to be forced. I don't want to be pushed. Not interested. So I think the person that has been pushing for the relationship, push, 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 is being rejected. Because you shouldn't have to force love. Love should come natural. So I, I, you know, this is being discontent. Not interested. I'm not interested in being forced into a relationship. The world, something is ending, that phase, that's, that's an ending, it's a major ending, where somebody decides to step into a new life. You know, the world is often about leaving the past behind. And I, and I feel like, you know, somebody has been having a hard time leaving the past behind, leaving somebody behind that they really don't have a lot in common with, except for the sex. But I think the decision is about to be made. This person that has been thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. This person has been. They, they have, they're making the decision to go after a soulmate connection. To go after something new. So we do have a major new beginning here where somebody is leaving the past behind and stepping into a new life. Whoever is in the past didn't want to let them go or they didn't want to let them go. But I feel like it's over. It's like I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. And I do believe there's a higher power that has brought in two people together and there's a strong magnetic attraction between these two people. But the, the, one of these people has been able to allow the attraction to grow because of the past. But I feel like 
that person that was struggling, that was keeping their independence because of the past, is now deciding to let go of the past. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I got. Let's get one of these angel romance cards for the 14th. What do we have? The moment of decision. The decision is being made to end that old cycle. To end that phase and start a new life. Maybe travel, maybe move. Let go of their independence, get in a commitment. Be open to marriage. Here it is. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Somebody is going to be expressing their love. They weren't. Because of the past. There's probably going to be a wedding. Good luck. 